What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking out How to Shoot Live. Super pumped about this episode because uh, if you follow the channel, I just released an episode where I dieseled my Gen 3i uh, Gamos Warm Magnum 17 cal, but I used these huge 16 grain pellets because I never could get this thing to read on my magneto speed. Well, in playing around with it, getting it set up with that, I sort of uh, kind of rednecked the rig a little bit and thought to myself, you know what, with it set up like this, I wonder if I can finally get the reading on these small 17 pellets. So I've already taken two shots this morning. Sure enough, I am finally able to chronograph my 17 cal Gamo Swarm Magnum Gen 3i. So we're going to test out several different pellets this morning and see what kind of speeds we get out of this thing. Now, people comment all the time on my videos and especially on that one the other day because even dieseling those 16 grain pellets we were only getting like uh, you know 710 750 something like that feet per second with well those are massive pellets way bigger than what the guns meant for but these advertised speeds that Gamo is putting on their boxes first off it's PBA pellets so it's the alloy pellets they're stupid light I can't ever even get them to work correctly or much less to group accurately they advertise for the 17 that it's going to shoot 1,650 feet per second, which I call BS even just before I was even successfully able to chronograph. I had said probably about 1,200 feet per second. Well, turns out it's looking like I'm pretty dang close on that estimate. So with a regular old non-PBA, these are, uh, I've got the Premier hollow points, 7.9 grain premier hollow points. I've already taken two shots with it. I'm about to take another one. Uh, my first shot was uh, 1,204 feet per second and my second shot was 1,177 feet per second. Pretty dang close to what I had guessed that it was going to be. So let's, uh, let's take our third shot with those hollow points. Shot number three, these hollow points. Yeah, 1,166. So that looks like uh, we've got a standard deviation of 19 feet per second, and that's an average of 1,182 feet per second. The Gamo Red Fires are super popular. Let's chrono those. Um, they're 7.8 instead of 7.9 grains. Don't know if that matters, but uh, they shoot pretty accurately out of my pellet rifles. All right, first shot with the Red Fires. 1,162. So that's four feet per second uh, slower than my very last shot. So that's very dang close. Shot number two with the red fires. Heated back up on that one. 1,196. So we went from uh, 1,162 up to 1,196. Shot number three with the Gamo Red Fire. And on slowed on down, 1,159. So uh, those maybe are a little slower than what the hollow points were. With the hollow points, we had um, 1204, 1177, 1166, and then with the red fires, 1162, 1169, 1159. So uh, that's bringing us in still at an average of, all, of those six shots, that's an average of 1,177 feet per second. So you're getting close to that 1,200 average, way off of the 1,600 average that they advertise. All right, the Hornets. Everybody loves the Hornets, right? Uh, I don't really remember what grain these are. Okay, it was killing me. I had to look it up. So the Hornets are a little heavier. Instead of, uh, we've been shooting 7.9, 7.8. These are 9.57 grains, so a little heavier, a little slower, because of course we did not, uh, you know, we've not done anything to increase our muzzle velocity, so you add in a heavier bullet with the same propulsion system, get a slower speed. First shot with the Hornets. Ooh, very slow. 1,016. Shot number two with the Hornet. 1,022, also slower than our previous two. Shot number three with the Hornets. 1,020. 
You know, I've got to say, which this is surprising because the Hornets did not shoot very accurately, uh, or at least they did not give me anywhere near my best group. But now those have a very, very good standard deviation. You've got from 116 to 122, so six feet per second extreme spread. Anyway, uh, so I do have a little bit lighter of a pellet here. These premier pointed pellets are 7.4 grains. So we're going to assume maybe these are going to be a little bit faster. Let's see what happens. First shot with the premier pointed pellets, 7.4 grains. Oh, yes. 1,220 feet per second. That's our fastest shot yet. Second shot with the premier pointed. 1,207. So we slowed down a little, but that was still amongst the fastest shots that we've had of all of them. Third shot with the premier pointed. 1,203. So really close to our second shot. We had uh, 1,220, 1,207, 1,203. So uh, finally, we got up over, over that 1,200 mark pretty consistently. So uh, Gamo Swarm Magnum, definitely not shooting 1,650 feet per second. But now that I've got this figured out, and I know which pellet shoots fastest next video, I'm going to be dieseling this bad boy. And we already know, spoiler alert if you've not watched my other video, uh, where I dieseled with the uh, vapor rub and I dieseled with petroleum jelly, the vapor rub seems to ignite much more consistently and a little faster as well. So I'm going to take these fast 7.4 grain Premier pellets and I'm going to be dieseling those with some of that vapor rub real soon. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got tons of videos, pellet rifle videos, and all kinds of other stuff as well. Check out our playlists. But uh, you'll, you'll want to subscribe, you'll want to turn on your notifications so you'll know when I release my new videos and you won't miss this dieseling video that's coming up very soon. Will we get up to the 1600 advertised feet per second that they say? No, I don't think we will, but we are sure going to give it a go. I appreciate you guys for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. As always, God bless you. We'll catch you next time.